Listen to this verse. Someone quote this verse the other day, and I thought, wow, this is amazing. Psalm 18 verse 1 says, I will love you, O Lord, my strength. All right? I will love you, O Lord, my strength. So if I read it in the TPT, then the TPT Bible say, Lord, I passionately love you, and I'm bonded to you, for now you have become my power. All right? So I thought to myself, this is amazing. So the Holy Spirit said to me, you read it in the old covenant context, bring it into the new covenant, filter it through the cross. If I filter it through the cross, then that script say, scripture say, because you love me, not me, because you love me, you have become my power. Okay, I want to say it again. Because He loves us, He has become our power. And it's when we understand that love, that power is released in us. Kathy, because she loves me, she has become my power. We are two, we are together. If she don't love me, she's not my power, we are divided, we have a problem. Are you guys with me? But when you understand that the Father loves you, you are not divided anymore, that He loves you unconditionally, that there is no sin in this world that can separate you from His love, guess what? He has become your power. Hallelujah. Say, He's my power. Because He loves me. That's why Paul can say in Ephesians, for He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, Above all that I can think or pray according to the power that work in me. Why? Because He loves me. There is nothing that can separate me from the love of God. So that means the creator of heaven and earth, the very person who have overcome death that came out through the resurrection, He has become my power. Thank you, Jesus. Have you seen it? I'm so glad that Paul, I'm so glad I'm closing down. This is my last verse. I'm so glad that Troy used this verse when he came up here to the front because he was confirming stuff that I was preaching. Romans 8, 28 to 30 say, And we know that all things work together for good for those who love God, to those who are called according to the purpose. Now, how many of you know that we can only love him when we understand how much he loves us? You can't love God. Forget that. God's love first has to explode in you. And you come to the conclusion that He loves you unconditionally. When that happens, we know that all things work together for good. Amen? But He didn't stop there because He say, according to His purpose. So the question that we have to ask ourselves here, what is the purpose of God? Because many people say all things will work together for good because He loves me. But he goes on there, he say, <laughs> and let me read it to you, because he say, for those who are called according to his purpose. What is the purpose of God? Have you ever asked yourself that question? What is the purpose of God? Well, he say it in the context. I'm glad you ask. Because if you go further here, he say, for whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. That's God's purpose, that you conform to the image of his son. Yeah. So all things work together for those who love God. And the purpose is that we confirm, that we conform to the image of his son. Why is he saying that? Because when you have been conformed to the image of his son, you are in victory. Amen? Not conformed to your wisdom, worldly wisdom, human wisdom. Not conformed to, conform to what religion say. Not conformed to what the law say. But conformed to the risen Christ. And Christ is in you. And you are in Him. He say all things work together when you understand that that's the purpose of God. Do you know that that's the purpose? The first purpose of God's life, of God's God for you, is that you conform to the image of Jesus, His Son. Isn't that powerful? But he don't stop there. He goes on. And listen to what he say further. He say that he might be the firstborn, firstborn among many brethren. Listen to this. Here comes the good news. Moreover, whom he predestined, these he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. Hallelujah. So with other words, how many of you sit here tonight and you know that you are justified? 
How many of you know here that you are called? I'm not talking about called to be an apostle or a prophet. We are all called by God, called to be sons, called out of the world, called into. So you are called, amen, you are predestined, you are called, you are justified. And all of us sitting here, after a year and how long, six months preaching, almost two years, December is almost two years, preaching, we all know at this stage that we are justified, we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Not by works, by what He has done. He also glorified, that means we see the view and opinion of God over our lives. And when you begin to see the view and opinion of God in every situation, you are conformed. Are you guys with me? Kathy helped me a lot with that. I help her with that. When stuff go off, then she would bring the view and opinion of Jesus into it. When stuff go off on her side, I bring the view and opinion of Jesus into it. Are you guys with me? We live a conformed life. Why? Because we bring the view and opinion of Jesus into every situation that is out there. Thank you, Jesus. I'm closing down with this. The word for call here in the Greek is kalio. I love that. Take on, put on your seat belts because this is going to be a shocker. You know what that word kalio means? That means he surnamed you. Go and check it in the Strong's. It's not difficult to get it in the Strong's. Just go into to, uh, Strong's Concordance and you will find it. Those he called, he also justified, and those he justified, he also glorified. So with other words, before he justify you <laughs> and he glorify you, he surname you. Isn't that powerful? Huh? Surname, that means that you got the same name that he got. If I marry Kathy, marry me, she get my surname. We have become one. Glad you asked that question. When he surname you, it means he marries you. And he brings you in and he says, you got my name. You carry my name. Isn't that awesome? And he justify you. And he glorify you. 